NBA National Tennis Center, Flushing Meadows. Huge crowds, great tennis here on this Saturday to open the Labor Day weekend. And James Blake and Rafael Nadal in the third set. Nadal holding it love. Now Blake's turn. Memories of Sampras there. Well, this can do a couple of things. It could energize Blake. It could also get the crowd back exactly. in. Exactly. And he's going to need help to beat Nadal. He's got about 25,000 people here who are willing to help him. Well, Blake has certainly been to the net more and for the most part been effective doing so. Those unforced errors started creeping into his game in the second set. Yeah, it's serving better here. Some first serves, and what a difference as Bjorkman and Mirny, the number one double seeds, able to take care of the Americans. Cascade is a early breakup on Lubacic in the final set. Looks like Lohotseva is going to force Mesquina to go three. Nasu easily, and uh, he's fun to watch. And Arden was breezing nine straight games and then struggled, but won that second set. Dementieva, a big rally in the third to win. Schneider easily over Asagoe. Be up to date on the action here on the grounds on this Saturday. So both men hold it low. Back to Nadal. He was on the defense as Blake dictated until here. But Nadal should be given more credit for his ability to change the pace and the spin of the ball, to get himself back into position so he's not out of the point. He knows when to step it up. The other thing, Mary and John, and watching that point, just if you don't watch the ball, watch Nadal, how quickly when he's on the run, he can deliver a shot at full stop and get the other way and cover the court coming back into play. It's just... Uh, He's got some very strong legs. Yeah. Is there anyone does that better today than Federer? <laughs> oh, he does everything better. I mean, you've got to give him that one. <laughs> Federer was involved in a most entertaining match last night with Fabrice Santoro, the Frenchman, made it fun to watch, but Federer prevailed 5-5 five, five, and 6. And made Olivier Rokas in the fourth round. Now that's rare. You can count on one hand how many times Nadal has hit a ball over the baseline. Well, he takes such a big swing, it's surprising that he doesn't do it more often. It's excellent timing. Rojan Robredo. I figure the winner of this would be favored in the next round. I kind of feel like he's doing it, Blake, just what Andre Agassi likes doing to his opponents. Just, just take their legs out from under him, wear them down. Almost it seems as though he's prolonging some of these rallies. I totally agree with you. It's, it's exactly what Andre is an, a master at.
Nadal deliberate here before this serve at 40 30. Just long. CBS Sports coverage of the U.S. Open continues after this message. And a word from your local station. Battle through two sets and then overwhelmed late on the power game of Blake. Well, that makes for a happy party here in New York. So Blake to meet Grosjean Robredo. Andre Agassi in this section. <laughs> well, it looks good potentially for the Americans now. And it was such a downer when Roddick was sent out in his first round. Let's go down to Tracy. Thank you, James. Congratulations. You knocked off the number two seed on center court at the U.S. Open. How did you do it? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm waiting for the alarm clock to go off, and, and I'm going to wake up soon. I just... I really don't want it to. I want to hit snooze. This is, I can't believe how well things are going. And, uh, I mean, I, I really just, this, I can't say enough how much this is a dream come true. Rafael is an unbelievable champion. Is this the biggest win of your career? You know, um, with all due respect to Rafael, uh, I still think Andre Agassi is a legend in his time. So for me to beat him was the biggest win of my career. But, but to do this on center court, I have a feeling Rafael's got a lot more wins in him. So this, uh, when I look back on my career, this is going to be one of my best days, I think. After everything you've gone through, both physically and mentally, the last two years, how special is this? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I wish I had a better vocabulary to describe it, but I mean, when you have 20,000 people chanting your name, your best friends in a box cheering you on, your mom, your girlfriend, your coach, your brother, I mean, I wish, I, I truly wish every single person in here could have this feeling that I have right now. Well, go enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Dick. Well, as fans, as broadcasters, it's He's quite got a our good life. ball club, doesn't he? Yeah, what our life uh, we have to be able to sit in and watch moments like this. And it just, they would throw out the script. They wouldn't believe it out in Hollywood, what has happened to this man in a year and a half. And it may not have been his biggest win as he described it, but certainly it'll go down as maybe his most important. It sends him into the second week for the first time at a Grand Slam. And he beats a powerful young Grand Slam champion in Rafael Nadal. Well, just, that's just the appetizer. Andre Agassi is awaiting his turn, and he'll take on a teenager as well. Tomas Burdich of the Czech Republic. We'll return to Flushing Meadows where James Blake has scored a major upset, sending out Rafael Nadal here in the third round. 